friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's a grocery haul. I have quite a good sized grocery haul with some really fun new seasonal finds as we wrap up the holiday season. I can't even believe that Christmas is next week. So I had to pick up these seasonal items when I spotted them at the grocery store. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up means a lot to me, kind of tells me what type of videos you like to see. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, I don't know if I'm gonna make it guys. I'm close, but not as close as I wanna be to the 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed or you're new here, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button. Of course, I'd love to have you join my community. And seriously, I will cry if I reach my goal by the end of the year. So if you're not yet subscribed, please take a moment and do so. And of course, ring the bell next to it. That way you're notified when I upload. Down in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching website. I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculations. And as we're moving in to the new year, it's really important to know what you should be consuming every day to be successful. We all wanna start 2021 off on the right foot because 2020 hasn't been the greatest, let's be honest. So I also offer 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website. You'll also find links, discount codes to all my favorite things, as well as the link to join us on Facebook. I just made a huge announcement over there on Wednesday. So you definitely wanna take part and know what's going on on my channel and in my WW Tribe Facebook page for the new year. So head on over and join us. So we've got a grocery haul to do. We're gonna talk about a meal plan and meal prep and I'm gonna show you a little Ross Dress for Less haul at the end of the grocery haul part. So let's jump in. So here is this week's grocery haul. I went to Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, and Trader Joe's. We have things for Christmas, and we have our food for recipes for this next week. My husband is actually off of work starting on Wednesday through the 6th of January for another medical procedure, so I bought a few snacky things for him to make sure that we are stocked up and ready to go for Christmas and for the following week. So let me show you what's in my grocery haul. A four pack of cut green beans for Diesel and Lola. They get green green beans when we have a meal instead of table scraps and we were out so I picked up a four pack for them. Ritz crackers for Christmas as well as for Troy when he's off of work to have with the meat and cheese. I'm going to show you here in just a second and then I did pick up a big 32 pack of bottled water so that we have water on hand. We have literally one bottle left in our refrigerator. For Christmas morning, I'm making just a quick, simple breakfast for me, my mom, and Troy. I'm doing bacon, eggs, and English muffins, so I picked up the extra crispy. I needed marinara sauce for a recipe, and I still have not gotten around to making the skinniest dish, and I really like this organic from Trader Joe's, so I picked that up. And then also at night, I've been a little snacky, so I decided to pick up some peppermint tea so that I had something caffeine-free whenever I'm feeling snacky just to kind of satisfy my taste buds without any calories and you guys know my obsession with peppermint. So this sounded really good, it was organic. I do try to buy all of my tea organic, so I was excited about that. And then this cute little caramel pack is actually for my mom for her stocking for Christmas. I will show you after the grocery haul, a, a non-food item haul, I went to Ross, and I'll show you the few things that I picked up there, but for her stocking, she loves sweets like me, so I picked these up at Trader Joe's. Taco seasoning for a taco skillet recipe this next week. For Christmas Day dinner, I'm making a corn casserole. I've never made it before. It's a Food Network Paula Deen recipe. It sounds really indulgent. So I'm excited for that. I did pick up some Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix for that recipe. Ground chicken for a dinner recipe. I have a hard time finding ground chicken in my area. So I was excited when I saw this. It's the 96.4 ground chicken, so it's zero points. These were on clearance, so I picked them up just for a quick, easy lunch or dinner, especially with us being home more. This is the chicken parmesan with marinara and cheese. So basically, they're just breaded chicken breasts, and they were on clearance for $2.39, and they're good until today. So I may toss them in the freezer. I may make these for lunch today. We'll just kind of have to see, but that was such a good deal, I couldn't pass it up. And then for the Ritz crackers, I like these little pre-cut ready-to-go cheese trays. This is sharp cheddar, Swiss, and Colby Jack. They're cut up, ready to go. I use these for Troy's Ritz crackers. So he does crackers, 
cheese, and then these meats that I picked up once before, these little round meats. I did the hard, hard salami and the Genoa salami for him. And then a couple of packs of cubed ham. I'm making his favorite macaroni salad for him while he is on vacation slash recovering. So I needed a pack for that. And then I also needed a pack for a breakfast recipe in meal prep. Wait till you guys see what I'm doing again. Another fantastic meal prep coming your way on Monday. So two packs of ham for Troy's salad. I needed some cheese. So these are really affordable, like $1.50 a piece. So I just picked up two and that should be enough to do the cheese for his salad. Like I said, I love peppermint anything. So I saw the Smashmallow candy cane. I actually got these last year and they are so good. So I picked those up just for a sweet treat that's point friendly. I'm excited for these. These are one of my favorite flavors from Smashmallow. I also picked up peppermint white chocolate skinny pop uh hello that sounds so good it's a little more indulgent point wise not bad calorie wise though but it's for two cups so you could just lower the serving size to lower the points but again all things peppermint during christmas and i did pick up a couple bottles of kombucha the simple truth organic brand i had a coupon for these so they were two for five and then a dollar off or something so really affordable my favorite is this one the blueberry ginger so i actually have two bottles of the those. White shredded cheese for a dinner recipe. String cheese for Troy. He likes to take these in his lunch. And these are just really quick, easy snacks to have on hand. Quite a few canned goods. I needed a can of petite diced tomatoes for a recipe. I also needed a can of cream style corn for the corn casserole. And I do have just regular corn in my pantry already. And then diced green chilies for a recipe. And then for Christmas Eve, we are making one of Troy's mom's recipes that Troy absolutely loves in honor of her. If you didn't know, she actually passed away in March. So we're going to honor her by making the Waikiki meatballs, which are incredible. So I'm making those for Christmas Eve and you need pineapple chunks or tidbits or crushed, whatever you can find for that recipe. I picked up another thing of light mayonnaise for Troy's lunches. I'm not going to Costco until after Christmas because I just can't go to Costco before Christmas. I don't want to deal with it. So I went ahead and grabbed this so we'd have it for his lunches. Of course, my cottage cheese. I did not know that Fred Meyer or Kroger carried my favorite cottage cheese. It is a little more expensive there. It was $5.49 per container. And I think at Natural Grocers, it's under $5. But I just grabbed it while I was there because by the time I pay gas to drive to Natural Grocers, I'm not saving any money. So I picked up two of those. Sour cream with chives for Christmas day dinner for my mashed potatoes. My secret ingredient is sour cream and I always get the one with chives because it just adds that little burst of chives to the mashed potatoes. And then I also grabbed a natural sour cream for dinners this next week. Restock of the Chobani peppermint mocha coffee creamer. I had a coupon for this and this peppermint mocha is my favorite. Hands down, it was on sale so I think I paid less than $1.50 for this once all the coupons went into play. And again, this is my favorite peppermint mocha creamer if you can find this. And speaking of peppermint, I had to. I just had to do it. These are so expensive at Fred Meyer. They're $6.99 a box, and there's only four bars in a box. And you can see I got two because I love these and Troy loves these and they only come around once a year. So it was a little bit of a splurge for me, but I like them. They have a little bit of protein. They keep you on track. They're a sweet treat and they are really, truly, honestly, incredibly delicious. We were out of rice completely. So I picked up some more organic white rice, a big bag of red potatoes. This is for Christmas day when I make the mashed potatoes. And then way up in the front here is this beautiful cherry wood carving ham so you can see it's a thinner ham this is really good when you want a ham dinner versus like ham that you would make for a lunch meat for a sandwich and this was a beautiful beautiful hunk of ham it was 21 dollars 10 on sale which is not bad because it is quite a large ham almost a five pound ham and it comes with the like applewood cherry glaze for the top of the ham when you cook it so this is for christmas day dinner i'm really excited everything else i have is produce so a couple of green bell peppers one of these is for the waikiki meatballs and another one for a dinner recipe i'm doing a pot roast so i needed carrots and honestly baby carrots just just make it so much easier. Some organic radishes for Troy's pasta salad, zucchini for a recipe and for meal prep. Wait till you see my dessert I'm making for meal prep. 
For the week for fruit, I just grabbed the organic raspberries again from Trader Joe's. These are so good. They're kind of pricey right now, but they are so good. And raspberries are just a great option for a fruit. A big pack of red bell peppers, one for the Waikiki meatballs, and a couple others for some recipes. Some tomatoes for a dinner recipe. These were really affordable at Trader Joe's. A thing of organic green onions. This is for salads. And last but certainly not least, my lemons for my water. So that is this week's pretty good sized grocery haul for the week, as well as for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day breakfast and dinner. So here's my little Ross haul, some Christmas gifts and a couple of things for our house. First, I picked up a rug for our bathroom. We are moving right along. Stay tuned in Wednesday's video for an update, but I just needed a really small mat to go outside of our walk-in shower, just so when we step out, we're not stepping on the floor. This was only $4.99. It's the perfect, perfect size, 17 by 24 inches for outside the shower. A couple other chocolates for my mom's stocking. I did these Harry and David dark chocolate truffles. These were $2.99. And then Godiva. I thought this was really cute. It's kind of like an ornament. This is the Gardi Godiva dark chocolate with ganache hearts. These were $3.99. So I'll put those in her stocking with those caramels from Trader Joe's. I needed some kitchen shears. I've needed them forever. I always forget to buy them. These KitchenAid ones came with the little cover for the scissor blade for $4.99. And then I loved these. These are marble with some acacia wood down the middle. I'm going to put these on the side table in my living room so that we have something to put our drinks on. I usually will watch YouTube or edit out there in the early morning in my robe, all cozy with my coffee. So I wanted some coasters and these are perfect for that space. And then in my office, I have an oil diffuser from Scentsy and I'm almost out of essential oil. So I picked up this frankincense peppermint and cinnamon bark for my office. These were only $3.99 and I try to stay away from some of my favorite smells like pine or tea tree oil because it's not good at all for the dogs. So these three should be safe. Oh, and this was I think $5.99. Yeah, $5.99. So not bad at all for the coasters. And then I know. It's pretty glamorous. I just think it's so cute. It has like the little gems around there with the glass, like the old world glass knob. And it's just a container. I'm going to use it in my kitchen, maybe for like sugars or something like that. I just think it's really cute. It's just so cute. I would put it on my vanity in my bathroom, but our bathroom is very rustic. It definitely does not go. It definitely goes a little more, you can see with the aesthetic of the kitchen. It's just so cute. And it was $5.99. And then my mom, every year for Christmas, I get her little mini Yorkie, Lucy, who's about four pounds, some sweaters, coats, that type of thing. And Ross seriously has the best prices. So there's this cute little dog dress with these pearls and rhinestones, cute little bow on the booty. And then I thought this coat was so cute with the little pom-pom on the hood. It's an AKC and it's got the Sherpa lining. These were really cute. They were $6.99 a piece. And again, they are just going to be really cute for Lucy. I know this one will fit. I'm hoping this one fits so I did keep the receipt just in case but that is my little Ross haul. So here is our meal plan for Christmas week. Can you even believe it? So this is the week of 12 8 through 12.25. Saturday, we are going out for dinner. In fact, my real estate office has purchased us all pick up and take home dinners from a very, very exclusively nice Italian restaurant in my town because we couldn't have our traditional party. So that was really sweet of them. So that's actually what we're going to be having for dinner. Sunday is a taco skillet. I'm stoked for this because we love anything taco in this house. So stay tuned in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day for that recipe. Monday, I'm going to pop a pot roast and potatoes, carrots, celery in my crock pot. I have a super, super busy day on Monday. So that way I have a crock pot meal ready to go for dinner. Tuesday is a leftovers night because it's always a jazzercise night. Wednesday, I'm making chicken parm pasta. I'm pretty excited for this too. If you can't tell, I'm really feeling some comfort food this week. And then of course, Thursday, Christmas Eve, Friday, Christmas, and we are doing a fantastic ham dinner on Friday and kind of an appetizer spread, charcuterie board, and things on Christmas Eve. I'm super excited. What you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep for breakfast this next week, I'm making oven baked Denver omelet. I'm excited for this. It's a very simple way to make an omelet, but several of them for a week's worth of meal prep. Lunch is buffalo chicken meatballs. I haven't had 
buffalo anything in a while, so I'm excited for that. And then I'm making zucchini brownies. And let me just tell you, these are the best brownies ever. Don't get scared off by the zucchini. These brownies, seriously amazing and completely WW and calorie friendly. So stay tuned on Monday to see all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Grocery Haul. I hope you got some food inspiration. You're excited for meal prep coming out on Monday. I definitely know that I am. If you can find these seasonal items, definitely grab them before they're gone. I did try that popcorn today and it is incredible. So definitely pick that up if you spotted. If you enjoyed today's video, again, give it a thumbs up. It just lets me know that you like this content and that I should keep doing these grocery hauls every Saturday. Also, again, help me reach my goal if we can do it by the end of the year and subscribe and turn on that bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Don't forget about that description box where you'll find my nutrition coaching website. You'll also find links, discount codes to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely definitely join us over on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Saturday, happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.